Alright, it's time for some builds in Mass Effect Andromeda. I've leveled up to uh, about level 26, so I can already start doing some builds. And the first one will be the Infiltrator build that I've been playing with since the beginning and I finally perfected it after having a lot of issues on hardcore difficulty. By the way, everything recorded here, every fight is on hardcore difficulty. On hardcore difficulty enemies have a lot more HP and they have they do a lot more damage. So the key here is to stay hidden most of the time, use your cover and deal insane amount of damage from the stealth. One thing that you need to understand here that to play on hardcore difficulty and ins insane difficulty you need to have a good equipment. In order to get good equipment I suggest that you mostly craft it because crafted uh, weapons and armor have augment slots that will boost your stats even further. The goal of this build is to use cloaking ability and then use sniper rifle from afar. That way you pick off a couple of easy enemies because the enemies won't uh, retaliate if you do it in a single shot from stealth or two shots. We will cover that later why two shots is viable as well and then when push comes to shove when enemies start rushing you you simply go in stealth use invasion on an enemy or overload or both of those and shoot them with a shotgun for a quick kill one thing that you have powerful as well will be melee attacks that's why i advise mods that will improve melee damage on every piece of equipment that you can get it Let's talk about the build itself now. We obviously want in our profiles an infiltrator profile that will give us boosts on weapon accuracy, stability, tech, recharge speed, battlefield awareness and we'll have a cloak evade, which is a really useful thing. And we get weapon headshot weak point bonus. That's a fantastic for sniper rifles. That's why we're using a sniper rifle and a shotgun in this specific build. You can put more points into combat to advance uh, the infiltrator rank further. I put more, most points into tech for now because I've seen most benefits from it. So let's talk about the tech tree first. The most important skill here is the tactical cloak. This is a must. This is where uh, the builds revolves around. As for the skills that you can choose, I went with uh, plus damage because we want to be the most DPS class that is in the game i went with duration here you can go for speed or duration up to you i like the duration more and for the last one definitely choose the clock duration after attack two seconds not because of the clock but because of the bonuses that you get so these uh, gun bonuses and everything you get even when you shoot from stealth and then you can shoot again in those two two seconds. That's why I've told you before that you can put two shots from a sniper rifle in. You can maybe go for three even, if you're fast enough. And they all will have that uh, gun damage bonus on them. Just because of those two extra seconds that you were in stealth and gained all those bonuses from it. As for, as for the other powers, you can play with whatever you want. I went with invasion, because invasion reduces enemy's defense. It's... It's a really cool thing that will drop enemies down quickly, even the tough ones. I went with the recharge bonus, but you don't have to. And then I went for duration and spread radius. This is up to you, really. It's not that important. You can choose whatever uh, thing you want here. And I went with uh, the virulence because it, it heals enemies when they they fall below 15% health and then and then they explode as well damaging all other nearby enemies the third skill that i went with is the overload overload uh, is important against shielded enemies and here i went with all out damage plus 25% damage plus 50% damage versus shields and more damage versus shields and synthetic enemies as i said invasion and overload are skills that you can switch around and probably do some combos maybe you can put overload in with incinerate or cryo beam or or a flamethrower because flamethrower cryo beam and incinerate will prime enemies for combos and then you can detonate the combo with overload or energy drain energy drain and overload are detonations while 
incinerate flamethrower and cryo beam are are powers that prime enemies for detonation one important thing for this is the full offensive tech tree i went with um, on rank 4 doesn't matter you go what you want rank 5 go what you want but rank 6 this is the important one go for the below one why because you will get plus 30 percent damage bonus that's insane and it will affect for five seconds whenever you enter cloak or whenever you use your overload or whenever you use inv invasion so the damage buffs from this build are insane because you get buff from entering the stealth you gain additional buffs from the passive skill from a tactical cloak tree and you gain also a damage buff whenever you use a tech ability from the offensive tech skill tree which is excellent i mean so much damage it's unbelievable as for the combat skill tree go for the full one if you want but you don't need to go to rank six up to you it's completely optional what you want to do here but i went with uh, extra weight capacity so that i can wear two weapons and i have uh, plus 100 percent power recharge rate this is important because we want our powers constantly available cloak being the most important one As for the rank 5 and rank 6, up to you. No, sorry, rank 5 is the one that reduces weight. So that, that one uh, I would recommend. And the 4 and 6, go what you want. As for the other points that you will receive, I suggest putting in shotguns and sniper rifles. Shotguns are really cool because when you go in stealth and go against enemies in a melee range, you can poke them with your melee weapon and then you can finish them off with a shotgun shotguns do a lot of damage obviously i have a shotgun now crafted that does 1000 damage which i will show you uh in a second so this is the primary build from combat and tech skill tree tech being the most used one there is also flexibility you can play around th things but this is a build that works fantastically against any enemy I've beaten Architect on Hardcore with this, I've beaten uh, Cardinal on Hardcore with this without any issues. Alright, here is the loadout, this is also important. As for the melee weapon, I suggest, well actually, you can go with whatever you want. I like using faster weapons like Omniblade that you can poke enemy three times from stealth when they're in close. That will almost always ensure quill, kill when you go into stealth, use invasion on the enemy and then... Uh, poke them three times with your melee attack with all the bonuses from mods that increase your melee attack damage you will be doing a lot damage with omni tool you can with omni melee tool you can put about three melee attacks during that stealth bonus because of that passive effect at the end that gives you the stealth benefits for two seconds even after you've used an attack so in those two seconds you can put two more attacks in with Omni Blade. If you use another weapon that does a lot more damage but has a longer animation time, you, it means that you can put two strikes in, but they do more damage in general. Those types of weapons that have a longer animation. So it kind of balances itself out in the end. It's up to you what you prefer. Alright, now for the weapons. Uh, I have used the most damaging ones possible, Black Widow and then that's the most damaging that I have at the moment. Then was the crafted one, Black Widow, I think Black Widow was also the crafted one. Put augments in that will, that will help you out. You choose what for yourself what you want. And do so, uh, put in every weapon mod that will increase your melee attack damage. As for the other mods, go what you want. For the armor. This is an important one. I'm combining Maverick and Angar and Rager Helmet. Mostly because Maverick gives you headshot and weak point bonus. While Angar and Rager Helm, sorry not Helm, Armor gives you more tech power damage, tech power duration and more shields. You can go for either or, or you can combine it like I have. Every solution is good here, depending on what type of weapon you're using the most. If you're using sniper rifle more than Maverick is the one that you would definitely want. Because even on hardcore and higher difficulties you will one shot most of the things 
that don't have shields. If they have shields, then it's another another issue whatsoever. Now, as for the consumables, I suggest covering your weak points here. My weak point is that, that I don't have any particular damage against armor, so I went for the incendiary ammo here. And uh, that would be it. And that's the whole build, lads. I think it works fantastic. I've tested the, tested it out, as I said, against the bosses on the hardcore difficulty, and it's it's working beautifully. After I had a lot of trouble on hardcore difficulty before, just put uh, some time into crafting things, because it's needed for tougher difficulties, and afterwards you will have no trouble whatsoever on dealing with enemies. I mean, just look at this. Nully fire, bam, invasion, two shots from the shotgun, done. So all the bonus damage is coming from the passive skill from the te tactical cloak skill tree that gun power tech power damage and uh, melee damage bonus also it comes from the offensive tech tree as well with that plus 30 percent bonus damage when you use a tech power and it also comes from the last skill in tactical cloak where you keep your bonuses for two seconds even after you you've used the first attack from stealth that's it guys, enjoy the build, I hope uh, I helped you out, trust me, it works fantastically, and that's it, I'll be posting builds regularly from now on.